Today, we will have a brief introduction of Growatt ES Plus series off-grid energy storage system installation. The core parts of the whole energy storage system are SPF 6000 ES Plus single-phase off-grid inverter, AXC LV battery. ES Plus inverter is based on ES series inverters to make relevant improvements. AC port adopts a dual input design with an ATS device, which can connect the utility and generator at the same time. Two MPPT's inputs support the installation of PV strings in a different directions. The air filter is a dust-proof design for easy disassembly and effectively prevents inverter falls caused by excessive dust. AXE battery is LFP chemistry to guarantee its excellent safety. The modularity of the AXE LV battery system makes it easy to installation with internal plugs. Each battery module is 5 kWh, maximum of 10 modules in parallel for one cluster. The capacity of a single cluster could reach 50 kWh. If you need more cluster in parallel and then need to use our battery hub device that can realize 8 clusters in parallel and system capacity will be up to 400 kWh. Wi-Fi F and GPRSF monitoring devices can use for ES Plus inverter. Please inspect the unit and make sure that nothing inside the package is damaged. Also confirm that receive below items. The upper cover includes Power on and off switch button used for turning on and off the inverter. USB communication port for PV Keeper local monitoring platform only. Wi-Fi and GPRS port connect to Wi-Fi for GPRSF monitoring device. Circuit breaker for AC input over current protection. RS485 port for expanding external communication use. The BMS port connects battery's BMS communication port. Part in and part out for inverter parallel operation communication use. Dry contact port provides a switch signal for external device. Current sharing port for same phase parallel inverter connection only. Before installation, we need to prepare the tools do not mount the inverter on flammable construction materials. The ambient temperature should be between 0 and 55 degrees to ensure optimal operation. The recommended installation position is to have adhered to the wall vertically. For proper air circulation to dissipate heat, allow a clearance of approximate 20 centimeters to the side and approximately 50 centimeters above and below the unit. The top mounting hole distance is 320 millimeters and it uses M4 screw. After that, can connect PV, AC input and output wire to the inverter port. AXE battery installation. First, remove all the dust-proof cover attached to the battery module. Adjust the AXE battery base to ensure it on the floor horizontally. Stack one AXE battery module on the base, then stack the second and more battery modules. The maximum stack number of the battery modules is 10. Install the safety part between each battery module. Connect the PCS port of the top battery module to the inverter BMS port by the communication cable and then connect the AXE 5.0 liters cable to the battery. For the other side, red cable connect to the inverter. BAT positive port and black cable to the inverter BAT negative port. Notice, if the breaker between the battery and inverter is required, we recommend using the DC breaker with a rated working voltage greater than 80 VDC and a working current greater than 150 amperes. 
Once finished all the installation, the next step is to power on the whole system. Press the power button of any battery pack for 3 seconds to power on the battery system. And the SOC indicator will flicker for a short time and keep always on finally. After the battery system was powered on, then can turn on the switch of inverter. Pressing and holding the enter button for 3 seconds, the inverter will enter setting mode. Press the up and down button to select setting programs. Program 05. Battery types include AGM, flood, USE, and LI. If you connect a lithium battery to inverter, please press the down button to select LI and then press the enter button to save it. Program 36. You need to press the down button to select L51 for AXE battery and then press the enter button to save it. When the inverter is on the normal battery mode, the screen shows normal and LED is green, then you can turn on the AC input and PV input breaker. Note: If the inverter didn't enter a normal mode successfully, especially the LED is red, please contact the Crowat service engineer for help.